So I'm going backwards, like I said, to some of these other uni reviews on cards that I am sure that I haven't done uni review on. I don't think I did a uni review on this guy. I think I just read his details when he dropped. I don't remember doing a uni review on this guy. I don't. I don't. I think I just checked out what he does when he dropped. Yeah, I, I, I believe so. I did like a little, what do you call it? Like a, like a little news you know, video on what the card does. And I remember him being insanely broken. I use this guy a ton. Like everybody has used this card a ton. Everybody knows how powerful this card is. This card is great, obviously. But of course, you know, we got to talk about him because for the sake of the unit review, just to add it to the playlist, just to say I've talked about him, even though I've talked about him already. But anyways, let's see what we have here. I mean, we know what we're expecting. This is a uh, LR Tech UI. He is greatness personified. He's great. I already did a unit review on Jiren. I know I did a unit review on him. I did it on a Sunday. I remember. Yeah, because I did a double upload. I got home for work. I did a custom car review. Then I did a unit review on Jiren. I remember that. But Tech UI, absolutely not. I remember doing like a little news video on him on reading his details. But anyways, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, we have LR Tech UI. He is a, what's the word? Is he a Tanabata unit? He's Tanabata, right? June 28th. Is that Tanabata? I think. Yeah, he comes out June 28th of 2024. I'm pretty sure he's Tanabata. Um, he's not Golden Week. Golden Week is in April, right? Oh my god, man. My <laughs> My memory's a little a little spotty right now. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. But yeah, he comes out June 28th of 2024. So he's still a fairly uh he's not new, but like he's still a fairly young unit. It's crazy to say. A, a young unit like a new unit is like young to the meta bro i was thinking of new stuff to say uh there's always something new to say about cards for unit reviews it, you'd be you guys would be surprised if you watch like those old unit reviews i've done back then anyway so uh lr tech ui let's see what we got here so his leader skill is universal survival saga realm of gods or entrusted will three key and one 70 percent across the board and this 30 percent of the stats slash 200 percent is going to be to reps universe seven Accelerate a battle or powerful comeback. And his 12 key, that being the unpolished instinct, 30% attack and 50% defense for one turn, as well as doing colossal damage to your enemy, of course, and giving allies 30% attack for one turn. So nice, giving support inside his 12 key. And his 18 key, he gets 50% attack for one turn, as well as 50, well, not 50% um, defense. But yeah, he just gets 50% attack and 30% defense for one turn. It confused me a little bit because his super attack effects for both his 12 and 18 key super attack effects are both flipped because he gives attack support for one turn in his 12 key and of course he gets 30 percent attack in his 12 key as well as 50 percent attack in his 18 key he gets 30 percent defense for one turn in his uh 18 key and 50 percent defense for one turn in his 12 key so it's flipped it's pretty much flipped uh, because attack here for support defense here for support in his 18 key that's pretty much flipped. good super attack effects so if he double supers He's going to be given the entire rotation 30% attack and defense for one turn. It's nice. As well as him gaining defense and attack, obviously. So good super attack effects. So his passive, that being the very last chance, activates interesting animation once only. And he gets four key and 77% attack and defense for seven turns from the character's entry turn. And he also gets an additional 77% attack and defense for four turns from the character's entry turn when there is another universal survival side category ally on the team upon characters entry so he gets up to what's that that's four key and 144 percent attack and defense within those first four turns that's pretty good and it's gonna be very easy for you to get a universal survival saga character right next to him because uh what do you do um one of the best units in the game that being agl ui post eza is one of his best linking partners you're not using a ui you're not you're not no don't be funny. You're not using this guy. You're sure as hell not using this guy. Could be a little bit, you know, you can run like a little shenanigan. But this guy cannot get touched. Um, same with this guy. These two, if you want to do like a little funny shenanigan and somehow like run these guys. And I don't know where you will run them, but yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> back over to uh, Tech UI. He starts out with 7 key and 200% attack and defense at the start of turn. Very nice. And he also has a 70% chance to crit. Cool. So you just don't have to give him crit chance. Don't give him crit. 
even though he has free five crit, but don't give him crit. Just makes no sense because he has a 70% chance to crit, just unrestricted in his base. And he also gets a 70% chance to dodge. Makes sense because it's UI Goku. And he gets 15% damage reduction as well as a additional 35% damage reduction within the same turn before the character receives an attack. So up to 50% damage reduction before he receives an attack. Okay. And he also guards within the same turn after receiving an attack. All right. Um, do keep in mind, uh, he has built-in guard, damage reduction, and a 70% chance to dodge. Okay. And he launches a guarantee super within the same turn after dodging. Very easy to get off. And he launches an additional attack that has a 70% chance to come with super attack uh, when he's the second or third attacker in the turn. So, I mean, all, all across the board in this base, uh, I think the whole point is to make it to the fifth turn where you pop your active skill awakening you get that domain out and he becomes um god yeah he becomes a messiah um but before we go ahead and get over to that which of course it's fifth turn from the character's entry turn because that's when his interest animation buff wears off let's go ahead and just real quick and cover what this guy is looking like i mean he has guard built in up to 50 percent damage reduction a 70 percent chance to dodge i mean come on now um, 7 key, 200% attack at the start of the turn, a 70% chance to crit, uh, additional super attack just built into him for him just dodging, as well as additional super attack chance as just, he's just sitting inside the second or third slot. So if you put AGL UI inside that first slot and have that guy do, do his guaranteed dodge for that first turn of him being on the turn, this guy sits inside the second slot, um, he, would, would he still be just as effective? He definitely will. I'm, I'm pretty sure AGL UI, you could do that. You could. Sure, you'll be missing out on the support, but I mean, it's granted depending on how many attacks there are. But yeah, this guy is very good. Um, yeah, uh, guarantee super as well as additional super attack chances to build into him for, for free for him just a either dodging and getting that guarantee super off or b sitting inside the second slot. It's like he's not missing out on uh, getting that chance to do a super slash being able to do a super. So he's he's good. Yeah, I mean bases i don't know what else to say <laughs> it's like set is <laughs> prepare for battle over in a flash uh godly power kamehameha tournament power fierce battle legendary power a great link set i mean uh, what or what more can i say he's greatness personified li literally we get to the fifth turn we pop this uh this active skill up the little domain where he awakens um so 12 key perfect instinct 50 percent attack and defense one turn disables enemy's guard and does colossal damage nice 18 key, that being the supreme Kamehameha, 50% attack deep for one turn, just like his 12 key, does mega colossal damage to enemy, and that gives the entire rotation 59% attack and defense for one turn. Okay, uh, support, and nice, good, standard 50% attack deep for one turn. I mean, two thumbs up from dev. I just, yeah. Um, passive, Ultra Instinct Silver, Gleaming Radiance. Oh my god, that passive name is beautiful. 300% attack and defense just baseline and he also gets seven key 59 percent attack and dodges all attacks and all allies get a 10 percent chance to dodge for one turn from character's entry turn okay so guarantee dodge key and attack as well as giving the entire rotation additional 10 percent chance to dodge for one turn while he already has the guarantee dodge okay he builds up three key up to 12 and uh, a 20 percent chance to crit and dodge up to 77 percent so a 20 percent chance to crit and dodge up to 77 percent for each attack performed okay so very easy to build up how many attacks is that um so that is that's four attacks he has to dodge for to build up all his key i think that's four that's four attacks yeah you have to attack no you have to yeah yes attack four times yeah i thought that the dodging attacks oh my god i got I had a crazy brain fart your brain got kerfunkled <laughs> don't ask me how to spell that word uh, so, and that's how many attacks he has to do to build up his, that's also just about four attacks too, right? Yeah, that's just about four attacks. So he has to do four attacks to build up his key and dodge and crit chance. Okay. He counters with tremendous power after evading an attack, including super attacks. Of course, he has 20% damage reduction and he gets an additional 60% damage reduction within the same turn before this character receives an attack. Okay. And he guards within the same turn after receiving attack. And he gets an additional 91% attack. And crit and dodge chance plus 20% when HP is 50% or less. 
I'll read that again. He gets an additional 91% attack and additional 20% chance to dodge and crit when his HP is 50% less. And he launches a guaranteed super when his key is at 24. So, guaranteed super built in. Right? Oh, I forgot to mention the fact that within his domain, he's giving 15% attack and defense, as well as an additional 15% attack if you're on Rebel Gods. And super class enemies, uh, well, excuse me, super class allies, I mean, can, can nullify attacks that are guaranteed to hit. So he stops bosses from disabling dodge. So this guy just cripples bosses that disable you from dodging. While also giving dual support from his domain to his 18 key super attack. Type. So he's a support type unit, right, that creates a domain that enables your units to dodge while him also having counters off his dodges and having damage reduction guard built in i mean what what huh we all know how great this when this guy is out he's a goat he's okay all right um that's it for him uh that's ui does he have flaws he's ui okay does he have a flaw we love ui goku around here <laughs> uh his 200 percent leader skills guys he's on 16 200 percent leader skills 4 8 12 16. now granted some of those 200 percent leader skills that he's on are irrelevant but uh that's still something you could point out 16 200 leader skills okay and his best linking partner is one of the best units in the game that being this guy and they are getting a uh, five key 72 percent attack 12 percent defense and a five percent chance of crit can we just redirect you guys' attention back on over to where if your hp is below 50 percent or less he gets additional dodge chance and he already has up to a 77 percent chance to dodge so that's what is that a 97 percent chance to <laughs> and he's giving he's giving additional dodge within the same turn when he first comes out of course from his domain i mean come on oh he's crazy he's we love tech ui we love tech ui and he loses over in the flash for shocking speed right he does so tech ui flawless um, almost, almost flawless. This guy rarely ever gets me killed. Like, rarely. I, I don't remember the last time I died with this unit. I don't. I don't. He's just, he's amazing. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, tech UI. Um, goat. Goat UI. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Oh, and if you don't want to run, uh, Asia UI, for whatever reason, you want to run him with him. Um, Evo Ken. Because this guy technically could cover Evo Ken's ass and fit inside the first slot. Uh, EB. If you don't feel like your tech UI is going to dodge, for whatever reason, you can throw EB in the first slot and he just walls off all attacks because he's a goat. And yeah, that's about it. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I will catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Tech UI, he's just he's him. He's him. Peace.